welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we're going ahead and doing a bit of a medium to long speed build video and it is going to be a bit of a base game only modern-esque build. So I built this ashamedly, is that a word? <laughs> Embarrassingly, I built this so long ago. There are probably several different reasons why you can notice that I filmed it so long ago. But I filmed this, I'm not even sure when, I don't even know, like a rough date. Okay, the birds outside my window are screaming. They're like, it was too long ago. Okay, anyway, I filmed this when The Sims 4 base game was offered for free. I don't know when that was. Was that like June, July? What, what's the month before June? May? I don't know. It was at least like two months ago, maybe three, if not last year. I don't know. But basically, I built this build when The Sims 4 was offered for free on Origin, which if you're watching this at any time that wasn't in the past, the offers expired. Like, I'm sorry. But I filmed this all the way back then, ready to like maybe go up to like, you know, advertise to you guys like, hey, if you haven't got the base game, like buy it because like I did this build, it's base game only. If you get the base game for free on Origin, you can use this build. But like, I just didn't. And I'm not sure why. So I found this build on my D drive and I thought, I don't have any other videos to post this weekend. What should I post? Mm, okay, let's post that build from way too long ago. I'm not sure if this is on the gallery. I can't find it anywhere. And as such, at this stage, when I'm recording the voiceover, this video doesn't have any screenshots. So if it gets to the end of this video and there are no screenshots, it's because the house is missing. But if there are, it, it means I found it and that means it's probably on the gallery. It may already be on the gallery, but I just can't find it. Maybe try searching with custom content off. I'm not sure. I mean, or on. But yeah, I built it so long ago. I don't remember which save file. I've been into all of my save files that I can think of and I've checked this lot in Strangerville and I can't find it. So I don't know what I did with it, or where I built it, or what's happened to it, but here's the build video. At the very least, enjoy this and, you know, if the Sims gods want to bless me with finding this build, then there'll be some screenies at the end and it'll be on the gallery. But my voiceover is going to end at the end of the build because at this stage, I don't have any screenshots in my editing software. So I basically built this build so that you guys could download it if you only have the base game and especially if you just downloaded the base game from the free offer. I hope they do that again in the future, maybe like especially for other Sims games. I was thinking like when I'm recording this, it's uh, the 28th of August and Classic WoW, like World of Warcraft just released, which is basically, if you don't know, it's like a game on the computer and it's evolved a lot. It's quite an old game at this stage and people were requesting for the original version, the classic version to be released, like vanilla version, and they went ahead and did it. So I was thinking how cool would it be if the Sims team did that but with like the Sims 1 or the Sims 2 and released it for free or even for charge, like even if it was like $15 to buy like a complete collection of the Sims 1 or the Sims 2. Also, can you see how I'm trying to add that tile under the foundation? It just wouldn't go. How annoying. Have you ever had that problem? Anyway, that would be so cool. I would honestly pay upwards of $50 to $100 to be able to download the complete collection of Sims 1 on Origin. I would. I would pay $100 for it. So if they did it for free, that'd be outstanding. But even if they did it and charged like, you know, $100 uh, or even like $25, $50, I'm sure a lot of people would be extremely interested in that. Huh, could you see me just saving that to the gallery? Was was I saving it to the gallery to send? What was I doing? I don't know. It may be on the gallery. Or maybe like an unfinished version of it might be. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, I just think that would be so cool because it's obvious that it can be done. Like as long as if it's impossible. They were giving out copies of The Sims 2 at one stage for free. So it's like, why wouldn't you do it with other games, especially if people are willing to pay. Like, I'm not saying do it for free. If you can't afford to do it for free, which let's be real, EA definitely can. But if they can't, or if they're saying it's an issue of money, then charge like 10 bucks. That's all you got to do. Charge 10 bucks and you'll be good. But yeah, this build is, I honestly don't even remember what's really in it. I remember that I did the kitchen upstairs, which isn't usually something I do, but I remember really liking this build and thinking it's really quirky and different to anything I would normally do. 
So I hope that you enjoy it while it's in the background. But since I don't really remember much about it, I'm just going to let it play. It's like we're both watching this for the first time at the same time together. Hi, how are you? Let's watch this build. But I built it in Strangerville. This is Strangerville, right? I built it in Strangerville because I always see desert builds as being more modern. Does that even make sense? Like in Oasis Springs, a lot of the builds are more modern and new because obviously back in the yonder days, nobody wanted to live in the desert because they didn't have like proper air conditioning or anything. So everyone was like living more near the coast and the rivers and whatnot. But now that there's modern technology for like better insulation and air conditioning and cooling systems like that, people are building houses there. So they're more than likely going to be modern style houses because they're built more recently. At least that's what I was thinking. So I went ahead and built this really, really modern house. It's got a lot of windows from memory. And I think it's even got a bit of a skylight, which I thought was so cool. And I think it is just like a one bedroom house. This is just made for sort of like almost like a low key bachelor pad esque build for that one single sim that's like rolling in the cash. Like they're like a tech guru, they're a social media influencer, something like that. And they're earning a lot of money. They throw some parties here. They have some friends over. They got a pool. Like they have people coming over using their pool. But like all in all, at the end of the day, they're just here on their own. Maybe they have a pet or something or like a GF or a BF. But other than that, they're like quite a loner sim, but they like it like that. Which is also probably why they live in the desert because it's not like heavily populated. So that's why I choose to build it in strangerville but most of the houses in strangerville are kind of more old school but i just thought this position on the hill was kind of more like luxe and lavish and modern because it is sort of like overlooking the whole town i love this lot so much it is a really fun one to build on and yeah i hope that you enjoyed the build in the background now i'm going to start talking about something else if you watched the creator sim video of the ridgeport showcase and Cass, you would have seen that I, you would have heard, sorry, that I was going to tell you about some changes to my weekend videos in this video. So if you haven't seen that one, I'll link it down below. And yeah, so basically there are going to be some changes to weekend videos with Realm of Magic coming out. If you don't know, I'm currently studying. I'm currently in semester. It's my second semester of the year and I'm coming up to mid-year break. I think my mid-year break starts on the 23rd of uh, September. Oh, it's September today. Happy 1st of September. Can you believe it? I can't. But yeah, I go on break towards the end of September, the last two weeks and the first little part of October. Wow, that's crazy. It feels so far away, but also so close at the same time. But when I go on break, that's when I do my pre-recording of my like LPs and my challenges. So 100 Baby Challenge, Not So Berry and whatever LPs I've got going on at the moment. But Realm of Magic is coming out two weeks before my break. It's coming out on the 10th, but I think it might be actually closer to the 11th for me. I'm not quite sure yet. There aren't any countdowns up. If you know of any countdowns that are like counting down to the release of Realm of Magic, please let me know down below because I've been looking online and I can't find any anywhere. But basically, it'll come out on either like Tuesday or Wednesday for me in like my second to last week before my break. So I'll still have that week that I'll be currently in and one more week before I go on break. So I won't have time to film many more videos if I'm filming Realm of Mal Magic. So uh, basically, this weekend will be the last weekend with random videos. And that's the reason why I wanted to upload this build because I didn't have any others filmed. I had the Ridgeport Sims Creator Sim video filmed. And I had this build filmed from ages ago that I hadn't edited or uploaded yet. But other than that, I don't have any other videos left that I'd pre-filmed or filmed in advance or anything like that. So I was kind of stressed about how I was going to keep up with uploading weekend videos and doing Realm of Magic. So what I decided to do is next week I'm going to go ahead and upload Island Living and Not So Berry on the weekend instead of random videos. So uh, tomorrow, the 2nd, we will have part 83 of 100 Baby Challenge. On Wednesday the 4th, we'll have part 4 of Not So Berry Green. And then on Friday the 6th, we'll have Island Living part 13, I believe. So that's basically, you know, normal business. But then on Saturday the 7th, instead of having a random video, we'll have part five of Not So Berry Green. And then on Sunday the 8th, we will have part 14 of Island Living. So they're sort of getting their parts out early. You're basically getting two parts of Not So Berry Green and Island Living next week, which I guess will be exciting for those of you who watch those videos. But if you don't like those, or if you are looking forward to random videos, I apologize. But uh, the week after that, 
the week starting on the 9th, we will have, on the 9th Monday, we'll have part 84 of 100 Baby Challenge. And then Tuesday the 10th is the set release date for Realm of Magic, but I'm not sure what time it's going to be coming out for me. And as I said, I'll still be studying then, so I'm not sure when I'll get to upload the video. But if it comes out on the Tuesday, like at midnight Tuesday, I'll upload a Realm of Magic video that day. And then probably a Realm of Magic video on Wednesday, definitely. Thursday there probably won't be an upload but I might upload Realm of Magic on Thursday if it doesn't release technically until Wednesday if you know what I mean. So there'll be two Realm of Magic videos either Tuesday and Wednesday or Wednesday and Thursday depending on the release time. And then Friday instead of Island Living I'll be doing Realm of Magic video and then Saturday and Sunday so 13th, 14th and 15th Friday, Saturday, Sunday will all be Realm of Magic. So Monday the 9th we have 100 Baby Challenge but then after that until the next Monday the 16th will just be Realm of Magic. So I'll be uploading a first part of the LP, I'll be uploading a first reaction and just a general showcase of the Creator Sim and Build By content. That'll be like one big video like I usually do, like my first impression and overall showcase. And then I'll be going ahead and probably doing a Creator Sim and maybe a couple more LP parts, maybe a build, but probably just Creator Sim and LP parts and then a showcase. So there'll probably be three LP parts spread out over those days, a showcase and a creator sim. Maybe a build if I have lots of time, but I doubt I'm going to have enough time to do a build until that weekend. So it'll go out the following weekend, if that makes sense. But then the week after that is business as usual. Monday the 16th will be part 85 of 100 Baby. Wednesday the 18th will be part 6 of Not So Berry Green. And then Friday the 20th will be part 15 of Island Living. Then Saturday and Sunday the 21st and 22nd will be Realm of Magic videos. So some kind of creator sim or build and then probably an LP part. So after that, every weekend, I probably will just be uploading Realm of Magic videos depending on how they do, what you guys want and whatnot. Because I don't have any free days to like upload Realm of Magic LP videos. So the LP will be going up on Saturdays or Sundays and then there'll be sort of random videos on the alternate day. So if I upload the LP on Sundays, I'll upload a random video on Saturdays if that makes sense. So I'll have like builds or creator sims related to Realm of Magic. Uh, probably until the start of September, October. Until the start of October, there'll be Realm of Magic based random videos and the LP going up on weekends. And then like by the second week of October, things will probably die down with Realm of Magic and I'll go back to more random videos. For instance, I'll be trying to do more of the 100 Baby Creator Sim for the like second generation kids. I'm still planning on doing those if you guys are interested in them still. And also the specific content creator creator sims where I go ahead and do say a creator sim for Ridgeports or Grim Cookies. Doing those with the rest of the creators in my game. And those will actually like those videos, the custom content creator sim videos will probably actually lead us into spooky realm. I already have one creator sim filmed, which was for a hoob, but it's a spooky one. And I was saving it for October and I was like, damn, I'm going to have to wait so long to film and like to, sorry, to edit and upload that one. And I felt bad because I was like, oh no, like their video is going to be uploaded so much later than the other creators. But honestly, I don't think I'm going to have time to even finish the other creators before I get to a hoob. So that's good. That one's like a witchy creator sim that'll be coming out in October for spooky month. And yeah, so October will be filled with lots of creator sims for the content creator series and for the 100 baby challenge series I was doing where I do the uh, kids from the second matriarchy. And then after that, I'll probably start doing the kids from the third matriarchy. And yeah, just continue on to have done all the custom content creator sim things, showcase things. And then, yeah, I don't know what's the future for my channel, honestly, in the coming months. By the end of December, I will have finished the Not So Berry Challenge and finished the 100 Baby Challenge. And also Island Living LP will be winding up and uh, Realm of Magic will be well and truly over by December. So I know that there might be a expansion pack releasing in November. So we'll probably have a new LP starting up then. But aside from that, I honestly don't have many plans for new series on my channel after uh, those two major ones, like after 100 Baby and Not So Berry. Because they were such big challenges, I honestly am feeling like I maybe need a break from big challenges like that. 
and I'm not really quite sure where that will lead me, but I just know that going into my third year of university, I'm going to be extremely busy and I don't really feel comfortable starting another big challenge just yet, like a big one that's going to be indefinite or 100 plus parts like 100 Baby and Not So Berry have been the past year or so because I love doing those challenges, but it is always just sort of a constant stress and something like nagging at you, like, oh, you've still got to finish that. You've still got to do that. You know, you're going to have to be uploading this for like another year. And that sort of feels really restricting sometimes. And that's why I often film those videos in bulk parts where I'll film like five parts in one week and edit them and then have them go up over the course of the next month. Because if I'm filming it every month, it just gets really tiring personally. And I just feel like I want to go into a realm where I'm uploading videos that are fresh each week, if that makes sense. So I am still, if you were active on Twitter, like over the past two months or so, I think it was actually more in the beginning of August, maybe the beginning of August or late the months before. But um, there was some drama in the Sims community that I'm not going to talk about, but I am still very much wanting to do my teen series that I spoke about on Twitter if you didn't know, I am a child to teenage parents and because of that, I opened up about my hashtag play with life story when that whole scheme was going around and basically the reason why I play The Sims is because my mother was a teenager when she had me and growing up we always played The Sims together and that was just how I got introduced to The Sims. So I shared that story and so many people reached out to me and said that my story is very similar to theirs and that it inspired them to share their story and that it makes them feel comfortable if they are teenage parents, that their children will have positive memories of their childhood and all this sweet stuff. And then I opened up saying, hey, I'm thinking of doing a series about this where I follow several different Sims in their teenage pregnancy journey. What would you guys like think of that? And a lot of people were extremely interested to hear it, especially the people that have been contacting me saying that me sharing my story really made them feel more human and more accepted in the community. And that made me really happy to hear. So even though there has been some backlash and even though a lot of that backlash did come from very influential figures in the Sims community, I still don't feel any pressure to not do it. I don't feel ashamed. I don't feel like I shouldn't do it or that I'm not allowed to do it. But I feel like I want to wait a bit for that whole thing to blow over so people don't see it as simply a rebuttal to those people who are making those judgmental comments because it isn't. I had the idea to do this before all that happened. So I don't want it to be associated with that, if that makes sense. So some of the sims I'm currently making in my creator sim content video, I'm creating with the sort of mentality that maybe they could be figures in the series and that I might just tweak them a little bit, for instance, making them teenagers, or they might be like the mothers of the teenage people. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I'm really, really excited about that series still, but it is going to be a big project that I'm going to want to do on a weekly basis. So I'm thinking I will start it in January next year. It'll sort of be like a new start to a new year and a new realm of my channel, like on my channel. I don't know how to explain it, like a new chapter for my channel that is just different and it's less challenges and more story based because that's something I've always loved telling. If you watch my 100 baby or especially my not so berry challenge, you'll know that I just love making up little stories. And even though those challenges are very like story based, they already have backgrounds for the Sims and they already have a lot of rules that dictate your Sims lives. I still come up with other stories on the sideline. Like I'm never settled with just, oh, they like, had a bad relationship with their parents. Like I always have to bring more into it. And I know that's what a lot of you guys who watch those series love about those series, that you actually feel connected to the characters and you feel like you have some sort of purpose in watching it. That's what I like when I watch videos. That's what I like to do when I play and when I create for you guys. So seeing that feedback that that is what you guys like from me, I really want to make that into more of a story driven LP rather than doing another big challenge next year. That doesn't mean I won't be doing a big challenge next year. I might eventually, but I just need to see what my study and workload is going to be like once my third year starts. Honestly, at this stage, there's not much way of me telling, but I know that a lot of people who are doing third year now have said it's extremely busy and stressful. So I don't want to put myself in a situation where I'm stressed about uni and YouTube. 
For me, I don't earn an income off my YouTube, obviously. So YouTube for me is purely for fun. I would be doing this anyway. And creating the videos just helps me consolidate my memories of what I'm doing. And if it makes other people happy, then that makes me even happier. So that's sort of my realm with YouTube. And I want to keep on doing that in a way that is enjoyable for me rather than stressful. Not that YouTube isn't really that stressful right now, but I just feel like if I dive straight into another big, long, stressful, huge challenge after doing two huge ones this year, I'll feel like I've just gone from like one state of stress to another without any break, so to speak. So I want to give my chance to do myself a chance to do a more story-based series next year, which will probably be the teenage pregnancy saga. So basically, I'll be doing some more creator sims for that probably in November and December. And like I said, using some of the sims I have already created in the past. And there'll also be some builds coming later in December as well for those sims. And I'll give you guys some chance to offer some feedback and input into the characters' backstories and their houses and their features and whatnot as we go through that. Like if I know I'm making a house or a sim directly for that series, I'll let you guys know and you can provide some feedback. But other than that, feel free to suggest any sims that I've created in the past that you would like to see in this series. But yeah, just in case anyone was wondering, like, what challenge are you going to do next? I don't know if I am going to do a challenge next. At least for the month of January, I definitely want to take a break from challenges and just focus on whatever LP I have going on at that stage, whether it be university, fingers crossed, or if it is just my teenage story. That way then I can like not have to worry about pre-filming so much. And if I know, hey, I only have one LP that needs to go out this week, I can just film it and then upload it and then give you guys some time to actually watch it so I can incorporate your feedback more. That's what I'd prefer and I hope you guys are okay with that. Feel free to leave any suggestions, comments or feedback down below on anything I've mentioned in today's video. But yeah, also today's my last day working for my first weekend at my new job. So I'll let you know how that goes next week, hopefully or on Twitter. But anyway, I hope you all had a lovely weekend. Until next time, have a very snazzy day and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.